Meantime tonight in a public town hall, the city of Tucson and Tucson Water discussed a master plan to help the future of water in the city. Nine on your side's Tina Giuliano spoke with Tucsonans about how they'll implement their own conservation practices. Just in general, short showers. Um, I'm always on everyone's case in the ha household. Tucson native Odessa Dreheim doesn't want to waste a drop of water. I've been trying to keep a garden for a long time. In the first year where, or the second, where it's, it's failing because it's gotten so hot. So to keep her garden growing, her and her family are doing their part, creating a simple rain harvesting system. In our own way, we don't have a giant system, but we have a small system where we collect water in buckets and throughout the yard, and then we share that with our garden later on. And the city of Tucson is trying to build upon practices like these with their new master plan called One Water 2100. We rely just on one resource, but when we have it available, we store it and we use it and we and we store it for the future. Despite Arizona losing a fifth of its Colorado River allotment, the city leaders say Tucson has a robust water supply. We know that the river is in crisis. But that does not mean that Tucson's in crisis. River water is just one of the sources for Tucson's supply. That we're using rain and storm water, that we're using recycled water in order to make sure that we have many choices. The plan will provide guidance for a more sustainable future, which starts at home. You're turning uh, off your faucet while you're brushing your teeth, or you're taking shorter showers, or you're minding your irrigation when you're doing your outdoor watering. The master plan will be implemented sometime in 2023. Tina Giuliano, Kega 9 on your side.